What is up guys, welcome back. So this right here is the newest tier list for November 25th. It's currently the 26th right now and the day of recording and the pa latest patch just dropped on the 23rd. So this is very very new, it's the most up to date version after the all the Nat 5 balances. Um, I'm gonna be going over the tier list. I'm gonna also I'm not gonna go over the whole tier list, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, tier lists in general, and also um, try to uh, give my opinions at the very end of this. But for the majority of the portion of the video, I'm gonna remain try to remain un as unbiased as possible and try to explain a few things. So there's a lot of controversy surrounded by you know by the tier list. There's a lot of back and forth debate. Um, people either one agree with the tier list. Two, strongly disagree with the tier list. Like, you can't just disagree with the tier list. You have to very, very strongly disagree. You have to, like, you know, anyone that mentions tier list is a retard. Um, and three, people that don't care. And four, people that um, don't support tier list in general. Like, they just, they, they believe all monsters are created equally. So everyone should, uh, you know, equality, yay. Um, but I, I, um, I, I hope to I hope to explain a few things and also provide my my perspective as a player that's like around the mid game. It's usually the newer players that follow the tier list like you know biblically, and the the older players, the ones that have a lot of experience that um, don't follow the tier list because obviously they they think um, they they know better. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse engineer the tier list. I'm gonna prove scientifically. Um, the accuracy of the tier list, all right, by by reverse engineering how the tier list is made. So, first things first. If you want to create a tier list, the first step is very very simple. You, you gotta pick a monster. All right, you gotta start somewhere. So you gotta you gotta basically pick a monster. You gotta be like, all right, um, what's a monster that a lot of people had have? Um, Fire Yuki, or Fire Yuki. I, I think I, I have this monster. I, like everyone I know has this monster. And then the easiest way is you go into chat. You find a chat channel. You can't. It can't be like super busy. Like this channel only has like three people chatting. It's not. It's not that that good. You want to find like a channel with a lot of people, but not a lot of people chatting, which is a little bit hard. But you just gotta go in. You gotta type in. You gotta type in. Um, you gotta type in some some random shit. You gotta type in like okay, Fire Yuki is garbage. Fire Yuki is garbage. All right, you just insert monster name is garbage, and then you, you type that in into chat. All right, and there's you're gonna get two types of response. All right, we're gonna probably they won't reply this because I don't know how many people are in this um, in this chat. And you usually get two types of response: either people agree with you, um, or or uh, they call you a retard. You know, if they call you a retard. Then you know that the monster is a good monster, you know, because you just said it's bad and they called you a retard. And you just look at their levels. If it's like a level 40 something calling you a retard, then you you know he's legit because he's um, Fire Yuki is not. How could you say that? All right, something something like that. And then you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, good, good shit, good shit. Uh, and then you're like, all right, all right, this monster should be pretty good. And you just you just do this in a few channels. If if you want like accuracy, you, you need a bigger sample size. You go to go to channel after channel. And uh, the more channels you visit, the more accurate it is. And then you find, okay, this monster is pretty good. And um, but there are certain, or or either you're gonna get a response where everyone agrees with you, so you know this monster is complete garbage. Um, and if you go to a busy channel and people ignore you, most likely this monster is complete garbage because they they already know it's bad and you just said it's bad, so you're not creating any sort of controversy, so they're they're just gonna ignore you. Um, but if you get a lot of like uh, mixed reactions, like people say, oh, oh, it's good, or like, hey, um, you know, you could you can make it useful, something like that, um, then you go to a different website. You go to you go to a website similar to this one. This is called a random chooser, and you put in two types of four types of options. Um, you take out the two extremes, the C and the S, and then you just click this button a few times, and then you'll be like, okay, it's B plus. B plus seems like a really good rank to put to rank it as. Um, so monsters like like people that really don't care about, I guess for like if you if you use the Wood Victoria for example, um, you go into chat. Most likely people are going to be like, hey. This monster is good. This monster is bad. Um, mixed reactions. You go to random chooser, click it a few times, get B plus, and that's how it ended up as a plus. Um, and 
yeah, that's that's basically how tier lists are made. You just you just go through this process for every single monster, and you have yourself a tier list. Um, I think I think I'm I'm trolling way too hard today. Like, holy shit. Um, but I. I, I do have some honest opinions on tier lists. If you guys didn't know just now, like everything was was a fucking joke. It was just it's not real. Um, it's not really how tier lists are made. Tier lists are made by, based on people's opinions, and that is the that's that's if you want to take anything on this video, that's basically what you should take. Um, it's just all opinion. Like any tier list that anyone makes is their own opinion and their own experience on, of the game. Um, obviously, for a newer player. Most people that make tier lists are more experienced than you, so they know they know better. Um, and you can kind of use it as a guide to decide which monsters to keep, which monsters you shouldn't. But as long as soon as you like start progressing in the game, you want to kind of not look at it as much because you it's pretty obvious. Like the really good monsters you know are good, and the really bad monsters you know are bad, are useless. Um, and for the monsters, anything in between, you kind of have—it's kind of based on your um, personal progression. So you can't really, can't really just rule out any monster. You know, a monster that's good for you might not be, might not be good for others because they have a certain better version of a of a rarer monster, or they don't need it because they they have a certain monsters um, on their team that doesn't need it um, in their team. So like. Um, I'm not sure how to how to really explain this. It's like, all right, so this guy has, um, you know, like, like let's let's use a really obvious example. Like, for example, um, the the fire fire. What's his name? The, the candling. All right, he has two types of armor break. He's a natural three star, but then like there's the Yuki who has like two armor breaks as well, who is a four star, also fire. Um, and she has better stats. If you can get her to the, the evolution, like if you can get her to evil two and stuff, um, or if you can get her to evil three, she's definitely going to outclass an evil three fire candling. And in that sense, like that monster might be better, but you might not have all the resources to make that monster like an evil three. So um, you might you might raise the fire candling instead, you know, just just for yourself. Um, and that's kind of how that's kind of my take on the tier list. I, did, I just think it's uh, it's an okay guide for your like first week of playing, but then um, afterwards you really shouldn't look at it too much. You can always look at it for fun, but I think it's just it's just how how things work. It's basically just to guide newer players. Um, that's the only purpose of the tier list. I think just it's just my my two cents on it. Just my opinions. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the troll again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.